Hi, my name is Lehri Nanda and this is Hustling From Home. I want to begin by explaining the objective behind this show. So as you may already know, India is currently on a 21-day lockdown nationwide and as a result, people are not able to go to work, due to which the economy has borne the brunt of this lockdown. So we at Founder India decided to stay home and examine the impact that the lockdown is having on businesses across the country. I currently am on quarantine myself. Today is day nine. And so I have five more days before I can be on just lockdown. I have with me today Dr. Shamali Khera, who is a renowned public speaking coach, as well as an expert in emotional intelligence. She also founded the Speak to Inspire Academy, which today works to train individuals and corporations alike in impactful public speaking, leadership, and the development of soft skills. Thank you so much for joining us, Shamali. We're really happy to have you on the show. So Shamali, tell us, Prior to the lockdown, what kinds of teaching techniques did you employ at the academy and how might these have changed now that the lockdown and the subsequent directive to work from home right. have been implemented? So obviously a lot of stuff that we were doing was more face to face. We were conducting seminars, workshops and one to one coaching with our clients in the same physical space. Now a lot of that has changed thanks to the lockdown and uh, we have mostly converted most of our coaching stuff to online. So that's how we're doing it now. So then how is the work from home directive impacting your clients and their ability to learn from you? Well, technically, we are still in touch with our clients. What has really happened is we have had to cut down completely on any of the physical interactions that we had planned earlier with uh, the academy. So we did have uh, a session, a masterclass planned in Dubai in mid-April. And uh, we just took a call last week after the lockdown was announced that uh, we need to probably reschedule it, uh, looking at the current conditions. What we are really doing right now is because they had already people had registered. We are planning to do a webinar so that people can still kind of take advantage of uh, um, you know, brushing up on their public speaking skills and developing and working on them while they're at home. So that is one of the things we are working on. So based on what you've just told me, what kind of changes have you made to the delivery of your courses or the course content in order to accommodate to the feedback from your clients? Right. One of the other things that we are also doing is we've started an online series called the Stay Home, Stay Tough, where we are interviewing various experts live on our Instagram handle and talking to them about how to best utilize this time currently. So, for example, we interviewed a mind coach from the UK a while back. We have interviewed an acting coach. We have interviewed um, a, skin pair, uh, a skincare expert, a dietitian, and basically kind of uh gain knowledge from how we can maximize the time we have meanwhile we are also working in delivering online short module courses that uh, our ex-students our current clients can access to brush up on their public speaking skills because honestly this is one of the best time to kind of do it since you have uh, your indoors you have all this time to yourselves uh, doing one activity every day of speaking um, uh, maybe to the camera or in front of the mirror or practicing a monologue is one of the best things uh, we are suggesting our clients to do currently. So Shamali, what would you say are some of the challenges that the online education industry as a whole might be facing right now? Well, honestly, currently online education is at uh, its maximum potential. I feel this couldn't have been a better time for a lockdown, especially because uh, if, say if this was 20 years back, of course, schools, universities, academies would have suffered and they would have lost this uh, passage of time. But uh, in the era that we are in and with amazing, amazing tools uh, like Zoom and Webinar, WebEx, we can use all of these and still reach to our students. So I also know of school teachers who are quickly devising short online courses or just doing live interactions with their kids and continuing to teach them concepts. I do know of one of the coaches, uh, one acting coach who's sending a single audio podcast every day to his students so that they keep working on their craft. So honestly, uh, I don't think online education will suffer much. It's only going to get better in this lockdown.
Drawing from your experience as a TV host, both internationally and in India, what would you say media outlets can do to maintain revenue, readership and integrity at a time when content creation right. is opposed to many journalistic principles? So obviously media industry is affected at this time with the fact that no new content uh, will be created during the lockdown as all shoots have been shut and uh, no crowds are allowed in any place. So uh, one of the things that we'll often see is that there will be rerunning of a lot of uh, old content and a lot of events which already the channels are doing. um uh, we have also tried a different approach we have some subscription based channels with some leading networks and we have opened some of those channels for a month for free to non subscribers as well so also this is a great time when uh, most people in media and most businesses are being very understanding and empathetic about the current situation and it was absolutely unexpected but uh, all businesses are trying to see how they can make a positive difference so for example we did have uh, we have a kids channel which is subscription only with uh, one of the leading networks and uh, we have opened it up for a month for free to non subscribers as well considering uh, kids are indoors they're not allowed to go out so it's uh, probably good to you know give them some content as well and uh, you will see a lot of rerunning of uh, previous shows and uh, we'll only have to wait and watch till when this is going to last of course new content will be affected but uh, now is the time for media to kind of you know get a bit creative with already the content that they have and see how they can best uh, reuse it until the lockdown opens up so yes that's how it's going to work for a while at least finally what advice would you give to those who are finding it difficult to be productive whilst working from home well right now i can completely imagine that working from home can be challenging but uh, one of the things that i recommend to all uh, my clients or my students participants is make a schedule make a routine because we are more likely to stick to it if we have defined time intervals for our work for our play for our recreation and relaxation uh so say you wake up in the morning uh showing up to your laptop should not be the first thing that you do uh use this time uh remember that we are not commuting now to and fro not spending those mad hours in traffic so we have those extra hours to ourselves so we can use it to read something or to meditate or just do the good old exercise and kick off our day on a good energy note still try and wake up at a good respectable time like you would have done while you had office so that your routine is not too disturbed at least from monday to friday and um, once you're ready get on to work and also learn to switch off at 4 or 5 or when your work is done because uh, it can get a bit monotonous for the mind to uh, work in the same room in the same environment especially in an isolating environment So one of the other things I'm uh, recommending is connecting connect with people who are not associated with work make sure you're checking on your loved ones and talking to them at least once a day because uh, this is as isolating for everyone as it feels for you right now so uh, all you need to do is just do a video call like this or just kind of uh, pick up the phone and connect with them Uh, and make sure you keep hours for yourself in the day that is not about work that's extremely important all right well thank you so much for joining us here shamali we were really happy to have you here on the show and you definitely provided us with some really insightful information and all of you out there stay strong stay informed and keep hustling from home